What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to talk to you about a problem that we're seeing a lot, especially in the uh, cold weather, uh, cold weather states. Um, and this is rodent damage at uh, the engine harness uh, due to the, the rodents looking for warmth and uh, the harness themselves are insulated in uh, soy based uh, insulation. So uh, this is uh, basically food for, you know, small, small rodents. And um, so basically what happens is you go to start your car. A lot of times you're gonna have a really long crank. They're, they're really typical, you know, and, and prone to going after the same wires on uh, basically 2016 Civics and uh, newer 1.5 Ts. The 2018 and newer Accords 1.5 and 2.0 T and the 2017 and newer uh, CRVs 1.5T. And basically you can see this car has a, a whole bunch of lights. A lot of the times you get a really long crank like just happened now. Uh, before it happened, it was even a little bit longer before when I tried it. But if you get this, you get a long crank out of nowhere, you get a whole bunch of lights on your dashboard, you know, cars hesitating, or uh, sometimes bucking or actually misfiring, and most likely you've uh, you've been a victim of some rodent damage. And we're gonna look and confirm on this car, which I already know because I look. But and this is typically you can see right here this is the cam sensor. Typically they shoot on this one, the fuel pump wire here, or. Coil wires right here. Typically, it's on the three and four, but I have seen, you know, anywhere these connections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair this. I'm going to insulate it and wrap it in on the road and tape. And I'm going to the codes. And uh, usually, I've been very successful with that. Only once have I had a road in return and chew through the hot on the tape. And they didn't chew completely, so they, they nibbled at it and they moved onto a different harness. But at least we knew uh, the rotor tape did help. So I'm gonna repair this and then I'll show you exactly how many wires. All right, so I have everything apart here. I open this up, it's got little tabs everywhere with like a flathead screwdriver or a pick or something. I'm gonna do all these one, two, three, four, five, six, six total connectors. I have the tape here, my crimpers. To strip the wires, got connected right here. Drink bolt connectors. Use this to uh, shrink the connectors. Got a couple donor pins over here. I'm gonna take these pins and put them on this connector. Same to fin, different connector. And then I'm gonna insulate all these wires right here, just to uh, to prevent them from uh, from this happening again. So I have here a donor connector, but the white was white in the middle. I removed that because I couldn't find a connector for it, but now I found one. And the pink and the red are at opposite ends, and the blue and the blue are opposite ends. So what I'm gonna do is just swap these two over so like that's less confusing for someone down the road, maybe diagnosing a different issue or whatnot. Just try to keep it as close as possible. Sometimes it's not easy to find the same exact colors, but you know, try to get the same or similar, very similar colors, even though it wouldn't really matter, but it could confuse somebody down the road. All right, so I've got these repaired, crimped them, shrunk them, and I'm gonna start taping. You can see all these will fit in here mostly. So they'll be hidden, nobody's gonna see them. It'll be nice and, uh, nice and clean. All right guys, so I've done all the coils, I did the cam sensor over here. Now as far as this, this is the, the mechanical fuel pump. So you have a clip on both sides and what I usually do is I use a 90 degree pick like this. You know, and I get to the one clip on the one side. Let's see if I can do this while. And then I put a little tension. So I'm holding a connector here to keep the tension on it. Then I go from the other side. Second here. Got the 
tension on there. There you go, popped off. So as you can see, it has a clip on this side, clip on that side. Kind of tricky to get this one out. Um, you know, I just try to get a clip um, to pick right in here, pull up on it versus pressing this little tab. It's kind of hard. And then apply pressure, kind of pull at, back at the connector and do the same on this side and usually it pops out. So I'm gonna wrap this up real quick and then bun this up, quarter codes and make sure uh, all problems are solved. All right guys, I have all the connectors taped up. So now I'm gonna hold, go ahead and start closing these. These are just, use a little pick again to kind of pull at these. And it's really hard to take out, but you know, if you wanna do a thorough job, definitely uh, recommend trying to take them apart so you can get there's no open gaps where the mice or rodents could get at it and then over here I'm gonna blow that just a little something in there you don't want to smell that and come back all right guys so here it is this is a code right here 2019 Civic PO340, camp sensor A, no pulse. So we're gonna go, we're gonna clear this. Yes. All right, so you can see now I like, quit a code, DTC's gone. If there was still an open somewhere, the minute you start the car, it's, it's gonna come right back. So we know we've uh, successfully repaired it. All the lights are off the dashboard. This thing was lit up like a Christmas tree before. So we're good there. So just a couple of things to uh, recap. You know, uh, obviously this is a rodent issue. They're looking for warmth and food. So this typically happens here uh, in the Northeast around uh, in winter time, colder days, colder nights. So this this uh, customer, for instance, was, he came home from school, he parked the car in his garage next morning, he had a long crank and uh, all the lights came on the dashboard. Um, now, besides doing the rodent tape, which is beneficial, and I've seen, you know, most cars, um, them not come back to, um, but I told them, obviously, you know, maybe you have some rodent issues in there. Maybe you should set up some traps or, you know, some sticky pads or something of some sort because um, they could be persistent and you can't justify, you know, or argue with the rodents. Um, there's also some uh, repellent stuff that you could put in either the garage you're in or maybe on the cars and the fender liners or maybe the gravel shield. Uh, they sell that stuff all over the place. You know, maybe do some research and see what works for you. Um, or you could even do this as a preventative uh, maintenance. And if you know you live in an area or you don't want to be bothered and you say, hey, you know, maybe we'll just, uh, I'll just do this because I feel like it and I don't want to have an issue down the road. Then you go and purchase this tape. Any Honda dealer should have it. Um, I'll provide the part number and um, do this yourself if you're anywhere mechanically inclined and you have some free time then you shouldn't have an issue installing this tape yourself and again it doesn't look pretty but it is effective so at the end of the day that's what most people are looking for so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you guys get all the notifications on future videos i don't always post um you know a new video or a message on, on instagram or anything like that that uh, there has been a new video. So if you uh, subscribe and hit the notification, but you won't miss anything.